my channel. I am Nora from Bookishner and thank you so much for joining me in another video. So I haven't done a book review for a while and I thought that I would do it because I haven't done it for a while. So the book that I am going to talk about is Treks by Robin Davidson. This is a memoir of Robin's trek across the Australian outback and she went across the Australian outback with three of her camels and one dog. She went to that trek when she was 27 years old in the 70s and the reason why she goes through that trek is because she wants to be away from the society and find herself and at the same time she wants to learn more about the aborigines and to be closer to the aborigine community. This is the first book that I read in January 2016 and I knew that I would get inspired when I pick up this book. This book gave me a lot more than inspiration in my life. It gave me a different perspective in my life and I completely fell in love with this book. I completely fell in love with the Australian Outback and completely fell in love with Robin Davidson's writing. This book started out with Robin going to Alice Springs where she spent two years of her life figuring out where to get the camels and trying to train these camels because the sole purpose of her getting these camels is so that the camels can carry her load. At the same time, she wants to get to know more about the place and to train herself for the trek. During the two years, she was figuring out how to get the money to go for these treks because she needs her gear, she needs equipment for her trekking, things that she needs to carry with her while she was on trek. The Australian outback is basically a desert and there are really no towns there it's really hard to get water so she needs all these equipments and these gears for her to make this trek possible so she met this photo journalist who worked with the National Geography he gave her the idea to contact National Geography so that they would sponsor her trip in return she documents her experiences and writes so she did it eventually she contacted National Geography and she got the money and, and she was being sponsored but she wasn't really keen about it because her initial idea is to just go on a solo trek by herself and experiencing this whole trekking experience by herself but because of her having been sponsored by National Geography this photojournalist has to follow her around from time to time taking her photographs and documenting her story so that it will be published in the magazine and so she writes all of that experience in her memoir to be honest I completely fell in love with Robin Davis not in a freaky way but in a very inspiring way she writes in such a witty honest and down-to-earth way and I think personally she is such a gentle woman I watched her interview when this book was being made into a movie she sounds like a very gentle person and I can really see that in her writing she talks about her experience when she go through the track and her experience on how she felt away from society by herself with her three camels and her dog sometimes it's scary you know there are so many things out there and you know voices in her head starts coming out and she also touches on the aborigin community at a point of time and how they were trying to fight for their right to owning a land and owning a place in that part of Australia and I am not sure how it is right now it's very interesting to be learning about how the aborigines were being treated in the 70s and what the situation was like for them it really opens up my eye on how there are certain beliefs are being practiced in Australia like for example when they want to own a land they don't technically own a land they believe that the land owns them and it's just very interesting to know what they believe in it opens up my eyes to a lot more stuff about the aboriginal community and make me a lot more interested in reading up on their community she also talks about her relationship with her camels and her dogs and she writes it in a way where her camels and her dog are like human beings uh, or like persons and it's very funny because I treat my cat that way very often um, whenever I talk about my cat I talk like she's a person and I can relate to her a lot because 
that's how she felt with her dog and her camels and sometimes when we got so acquainted with the animals that we have around us we don't treat them like animals we treat them like persons because they have personality too and especially for her where she has no human contact whatsoever her camels and her dog are the people that are around her and they are the only ones that she could talk to the way she describes them it's really funny and very witty in a sense I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars it is such a good book if you want some inspiration in traveling or in finding yourself or if you want to learn more about the Aborigin community in Australia even though it's not so in-depth but it does give you a brief idea of what's going on in the 70s and how their culture is like I highly highly recommend it's such an incredibly good book there are some parts where it really made me cry because of certain scenes that I'm not gonna tell you guys because I'm not gonna spoil it but really highly recommend track by Robin Davidson. So that's it for my book review. If you guys have watched the movie or read the book, please leave your comments down below. I would like to know what you feel about the book or the movie. It's very interesting. If you like this video, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more book related content by me. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Chill out.